I've always admired Ranbir on on screen, and especially when you have to name some of the people you enjoy watching dance on screen. I feel Ranbir is one of the first people that pops up in your head, and this is something I have realized after his song uh, Batamizil. Hmm. Like when you watch Ranbir dance, he does it with so much ease, and it's not easy what he's doing. The steps and all they're very complicated, but he he has this. Like you know how how we talk about Madhuri Dixit that she's blessed with the face. Yeah. Karina Kapoor, she's blessed with the face. Like you just can't get your eyes off that. So I think that it's when it comes to men, it's similar with Ranbir. He does it with so much ease. You cannot see that what he's doing is actually not easy. Uh, so yes, been a great admirer. Hi, this is Nikita Datta, and you're watching me on Mirchi Plus. She's been setting some gangs in Bollywood, and she's become one part of it. Welcoming Nikita Datta on Mirchi Plus. Thank you, thank you, Samina. So I can see you're setting some gangs in Bollywood right now, and that is Rocket Gang. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes, thank God you mentioned. Otherwise, this gang word sounds scary. So how is your Rocket Gang? Because you know it's it's done pretty well according you know uh, how you know because people don't get to see often you know as even you reveal people don't get to see children oriented film. Yeah. So how was your association with this film? I think uh, the one of the reasons why I got attracted towards this film was because it's a children's film and you don't get that these days. Uh, and it's been a very long time we've had like you know a very happy children's film that has come. If you see all the content that we are making on OTT or even that's coming out in theaters, there is nothing which is for children. And we've grown up watching some very good films. Like we've seen Mr. India. I start from there because I think that's one of the first films I had seen. Uh, there's Raju Chacha. I remember that had come out. There was also uh, Chiller Party that came. Of course, by then we'd grown up a little, but still. So there were these really nice films, and I feel bad that in the longest time none of that has happened. So that's what you're we trying to do with Rocket Gang. You're trying to basically make all the children happy. But how is it like working with Aditya Singh? Because you know, when he's done like you know, he's done less projects than you. Hmm. But you know, at the same time, he's like quite child. Like when you talk to him, you know, <laughs> the way that he has conversations also. Yeah. So how is your association with him? So uh, yes, you're right. His his humor and everything. You feel like he's a child only. But I think that worked in our favor, especially while we were working. Because the kind of shoots that we've done for Rocket Gang, they were not easy. They were definitely not easy. Uh, Aditya and I both have had some insane amount of injuries that we've had to go through because he's still a dancer, he's still a martial arts person. I'm definitely not either of them. So, uh, and we were we had some very hectic hours of shoot, and the schedules were very difficult physically. Mm -hmm. So, in those times, if you have somebody doing this kind of humor. I think it's a breather. Mm. So somewhere it was, as I said, it was great that yes, he has this humor and he's like this mm. because it used to give us a chance to laugh mm. in this entire situation. You also did a song, yeah, uh, and a special song for you know it's A B R U, and you worked with Ranbir Kapoor in that. I don't know when. No, no, that's not A B R U. That's uh, Har Bacha Hai Rocket. Okay, it's where not Ranbir is there? Yes. Yeah. So, but Har Bacha Hai Rocket, you know, and. I don't know when I'll get to see you working with him in a film because I'm yeah. definitely waiting for that. But how was it like, you know, working with him in a song, you know? And after Brahmastra, he's like, you know, again he's upped his game somewhere. Yes. So what was your? Um. Uh, so I've always admired Ranbir on on screen, and especially when you have to name some of the people you enjoy watching dance on screen. I feel Ranbir is one of the first people that pops up in your head. And this is uh, this is something I have realized after his song uh, Batamizil. Hmm. Like when you watch Ranbir dance, he does it with so much ease, and it's not easy what he's doing. The steps and all they're very complicated, but he he has this. Like you know how how we talk about Madhuri Dixit that she's blessed with the face. Yeah. Karina Kapoor, she's blessed with the face. Like you just can't get your eyes off that. So I think that it's when it comes to men, it's similar with Ranbir. Hmm. He does it with so much ease. You cannot see that what he's doing is actually not easy. Uh, so yes, been a great admirer, and uh, uh, we shot with him for over three days uh, for this song, and he has come in the nicest possible way because he was doing it as a favor, uh, out of favor to Bosco. Mm -hmm. So he's come in the nicest possible way. Uh, been very humble. He's you know literally asked the children because the children, if you see those five kids, they are way better dancers than any one of us put together. So he's I've seen him ask the children to teach him steps. 
uh, there were times when you know because you know how shoots are they can be long and uh, you have to give retakes and you're dancing it's not easy you're mm. physically tiring yourself nowhere i saw him lose his patience very calm very composed listens to whatever whoever is saying if somebody is coming and telling him that he's not doing it right uh, he's not somebody i realize who's go- taking forever in his band he's sitting on set even in between shots he sits right there he comes the moment he's called he like he'll, he'll come and he'll stand there so i think uh, watching that was very beautiful uh, that's ethically how every actor should be behaving but uh, when you see people who have achieved so much and who are also so talented uh, do these things correctly like especially when it comes to ethics it's i find it very admirable but uh, any of his films which has been your personal favorite you know where you, you feel like you know he's done like you know some some extravagant you know job over there you know if you have to talk about that i don't know if that counts but i think one of my favorite films of his is wake up sid uh, it had come when um, i had uh, moved to bombay in my initial years i had just like got into junior college that time and i feel somehow i related to that film a lot because you know we were of the same age group you're in that same space mm-hmm. college going and you feel like that so uh, it's still one of my favorite films i feel uh, one of his best performances i know people will disagree and they'll say rockstar and barfi and all of that but it's just that that film connected with me nikki if you if you had to define your career journey over the years i mean the kind of projects you're also picking up you know are very selectively quite different and hatke bhi hai and the storyline is also very different hmm. so if you had to define your career journey in one word how would you define it as it as in one word that's very restrictive yeah it's yeah, so I difficult know, but you know it's very interesting to know just in one word in one word it is um i feel my career journey i won't say one word two words i'll use life lesson it's a life lesson because whatever career choices i have picked i have made uh, they have been great lessons for me some have worked some have not worked uh, but i feel it's all in the positive way whatever has not worked has also taken me forward whatever has worked has definitely taken me forward so i feel life lesson that's what my career is do you also feel that kabir singh and your tv serial show the show has completely changed gears for you in a way because you know both were somewhere like you know people kept on talking about a character beat and kabir singh also and meet a tv show in fact they spoke a lot about it you know I like, oh my god you know what she's going to up to you know what she's going to do between the two brothers yeah. and all that was so much of a hype and you know and even if i i would see you know some shots of zayed khan also and you know with even you know, that other guy and i was like wow <laughs> and it used to be quite good and it was quite attractive so do you somehow feel these two you know projects have completely changed things for you uh so at least i think with television i was very conscious of the projects that i chose all the three tv shows that i did uh i was very picky very very picky there were lots of them that were offered to me in fact my first show i remember there was a time when i actually didn't have work and i said no to two shows mm. because i said i don't think i can do justice to this i cannot mm. because i wanted to connect with it and the tv world is slightly different mm. so uh, the three shows that i did all the three shows in themselves were stories that i personally believed in mm. i personally felt that the setup was great the storytelling was great and as you are mentioning hasil mm. hasil in fact i think was one of our attempts to kind of uh, not do something that you regularly see on television that's what we were trying mm. it was supposed to be a finite show so there was no uh, there was no you know that the entire race rat race that you get into that oh we have to get the trps up and the show is going to live longer we didn't have all of that we knew this is the story we are telling it's going to last for these couple of months mm. so and now talking about kabir singh kabir singh was a blessing in disguise that came my way mm. uh, i always say it's my some good karma that i did in life that kabir singh came my way and it turned out to be the way it had so um, all of this uh has not been something that i actually sat and it, i planned it out hmm. i have taken every project that came my way in that momentary decision i've i've made momentary decisions like that so if say today something comes to me i see the the entire setup around it like is this fitting is the story fitting me is the character fitting me uh do i want to do this do i want to put my effort here and i take that decision it works it doesn't work as i said some have worked some haven't hmm. that's god's fate but all of these things have ultimately got me here and very grateful because i feel that the graph has been upward slow fast whatever doesn't matter but it's been upward you've also worked with imran ashmi and it's been a spooky thriller for that matter and you know it's been 
quite dangerous because you know he loves to be in that game. <laughs> but would yeah. you prefer doing, say, a rather say a comedy film or say you know maybe a romantic film with him for that matter? So Imran Hashmi also, if you see, of course people associate with him with a certain kind of films because that's what was his claim to fame and that's what he's he's done a lot in the past. But that's not been happening uh, if you see the uh, last couple of his projects that he's done. Uh, maybe Bar of Blood or there was I think a film before that as well. He's tried to break away from that and um, that's something I experienced after working with him. He's much more than just being a serial kisser. He's a great mm -hmm. actor in himself and in fact with Dibuk we had consciously tried not to have any of those elements. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people told me it's not like an Imran Hashmi film and I'm like what is that supposed to be? Mm -hmm. It's a film. You watch it because it's a film. So um, I mean if a story is great, if it fits my, you know, my uh, checkbox, li uh, checkbox list, mm -hmm. I would love to do any other genre with him. Do you prefer to not do steamy scenes on, you know, on screen? Do you prefer like, you know, to maybe in your checkbox, do you have something like that, you know, some terms and conditions which you prefer following and that has been, you know, welcomed by many directors for that matter or have been like, you know, chalked off? Uh, so the thing is, um, I have said no to some things where I was like, I can't do it. I won't be comfortable. But um, there are some things where you feel like there's nothing. I, it's a very personal call, I'll tell you honestly. Uh, there are some things where you feel like, okay, there's nothing wrong. The story demands it. Uh, there is, it's not forceful. That's been also one of my major concerns that it should never look forceful. It should never look like zabardasti. Ye scene gusaya ta ki log dekhe. No, mm -hmm. it should go with the story. It should flow with the story. Mm -hmm. And that's what I feel a lot, a lot about these things that we see on OTT also. You know, when people say that itna kyu dikha I'm like, if it's flowing with the scene, flowing with the story, it's nice. It's, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a must show. So that's my funda. And even if I want to do something like that, mm -hmm. uh, I haven't done it so far. Uh, I'm not saying I'm never going to do it. I'm not saying yes, I'm going to do it. Mm. It's a very, really, uh, it's a very, like it depends on whatever comes. But have you lost on, you know, some good projects because of that, you know, because having certain, you know, curtains to your uh, Touch wood, no, not no. yet. Uh, even the things I have said no to, I don't regret at all. And I don't think I would have gained anything if I would have done it. What is that one thing you have observed the most or you prefer observing the most in your co-stars? I feel... As being fond of my co-stars, the first thing is uh, their attitude, mm -hmm. how they are not with me but with people around. That's very important to me. Uh, that's what helps me get along with them or not get along with them. Uh, and in terms of observing, uh, I like observing the process. Mm. And this is not just maybe the person who's opposite me but the entire cast in general. I always believe that as actors, we learn the most when we are on set and with people around. Hmm. And that's one of the reasons why people say, avoid using too much phone on set. Because what happens is then you're just in your phone. When you don't have your phone, you're actually interacting with people. Maybe not just your co-actors, but you're interacting with behind the camera people. True. And I feel it's very lovely to just hear stories, to hear their incidents in the past and just talk. Hmm. Uh, you don't realize, but that helps you a lot in learning. Hmm. A lot. Hmm. Like you just become aware, your doors open, you hear about others' experiences and that really adds on to your value. True. So I feel um, a lot of learning and observation comes from there. You also prefer, you don't mind in fact, like you know when journalists keep on asking questions to you, you recently revealed in an interview, but at the same time does rumour about you, maybe you know about your link-ups, does that bother you ever? I've had one rumour about my link up. Yeah, which was with Jubin. And that's not bothered me at all. Yeah. I have laughed it off. Uh, so, <laughs> Jubin and I funnily call each other like first wife, first husband because yeah. it's just become like a joke between us. But not at all. Rumors but would like you that, prefer dating a person like him? He's a wonderful guy. Uh, but, um, I mean, I think when it comes to dating, we can have our checklist and we can have our preferences but I don't know anybody who goes by the book. But do you also feel that, yeah, like love is something like, you know, it just does happen. It has you know, to it doesn't happen. something like we plan it you out. Can't plan yeah, it you can't plan it out. You can't, you can't, you can't. You can't say that, oh, this guy's got all these qualities and I think I should go date him. At least that's not worked in my case. And um, whenever I look at my past relationships also, I can never say that I have a type. So, which is why I've just switched off to this idea where I'm like, oh, I want my guy to be like this. No, I think just play by the day and whatever comes your way. So, many actresses for that matter, you know, especially the single actresses are often asked by media this one precise question. 
have you also become you know say a radar of that question or you know maybe say a part of that question or no when are you getting married have you been asked such questions also you know because sometimes your parents don't ask such questions as yeah. much as the media does yeah have you you know you know luckily they haven't they only did when the rumors were going huh. and uh, i feel that comes a lot when the moment people know that you're dating somebody or there's a rumor going around that's when those questions start popping up uh the good part is you said parents don't my parents also don't they've yeah. also given up in life they've also stopped asking so i think i'm very detached from this scene where people are asking shaadi kab hoti hai yeah but do you do you feel that you know sometimes media ask this questions a lot you know maybe shaadi kab ho rahi hai shaadi hogi jiske baad mein bachcha kab ho raha hai ha you know bachcha hoga jiske baad mein acha second bachcha kab ho raha hai or you never know what yeah. different twist all together you know comes to but that's life. media's job no they want to know they're curious so I don't think there's anything to complain about. But do you also feel, job. you know, you know, so many times what happens, you know, uh, in Bollywood for that matter, you know, some Bollywood actors, and I've seen that, you know, they end up saying like media is see reporting curry, you know, they talk, you know, whatever they talk. But at the same time, when I actually see those questions being asked by a Hollywood reporter, hmm. you know, the 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 ball changes completely, you know, hmm. they are so comfortable answering. Yeah. So then why not, you know, Bollywood reporters or Bollywood journalists for that matter? Do you also feel that, you know? sometimes we try to like eat up what exactly exists you know within the system of ours i feel uh, sometimes uh, people want to complain for no reason mm. that's one thing second thing is i've always believed that every individual is basically doing their own job and at no point you should undermine their job so this is a rule i apply on set also like mm. you could be one of the spot boys the dress men you could be the director you could be whoever everybody has workload hmm. and it's the same here you're a part at the end of it even you journalists are a part of the entertainment industry sure. and if you all don't ask these questions True. you are the ones who are connecting us to the audience social media is a medium now hmm. but back then if you see it was only the journalists who connected us hmm. uh, and a lot of it is true even today hmm. we are, i'm not going to sit on my social media profile and start saying that you know these this is what i'm feeling this is what i'm doing no it's because you're asking me hmm. so i don't think it's right to do that uh, i am very happy to answer whatever somebody says if people don't it's it's their thing what are your thoughts on social media trolls you know off late uh, the social media you know people especially people who don't have a face have become like silent spectators in a way you know they are judging with every single thing you know even even if you know recently what happened like you know ashwari is kissing her you know daughter yeah. that just became like you know they were i started, found it yeah. very beautiful yeah it was I so it was lovely i showed that fact. picture to my mom yeah. because uh, aradhya's birthday and my mom's birthday is on the same day mm -hmm. and i showed it to my mom and i said can we get a picture like this yeah. because i felt it was a very beautiful way of expressing a mother and a daughter's love and do, don't you feel that you know the social media trolls is something which is gaining a lot of attention on a daily basis you know no matter even you know if say for example you know i as an editor might not prefer covering the social media troll stories yeah. but you know still they get that weightage because they end up you know trending say on twitter yeah. for that matter they they're on you know trending like it's, it's the, the hashtag know, culture the hashtag culture and you know they're just literally like ban bollywood films ban all these things but why the ban because when i'm actually going to the theater and you know luckily touch wood when i saw drishyam 2 it was actually completely houseful yes drishyam 2 has been so then what exactly we see is what what exactly yeah. is the reality yeah so i feel um, see what used to happen earlier if you remember when social media didn't exist we spoke right and uh, what happens is you're sitting in a gathering say you're sitting and chilling in between office hours or you're sitting and chilling with your friends neighbors whatever everybody talks everybody likes discussing aaj news mein kya hua isne ye bola isne ye kya bola and people give their opinions hmm. back then it used to be you meet different set of people every day you have these random talks chit chats move on you meet the next day there's a new topic you speak what you spoke about yesterday you forget It's correct true. now basically and the adhd is you know too active right yeah, now too yeah active. Like too you, active like you you're like ha aaj iske liye burai kiya are usne aaj kya pehna kal are wo kitni achhi lag rahi thi exactly it's yeah. basically that now those things have turned uh, have basically come on social media now because people's uh, physical socialization has reduced a lot it has become more on people spend more time on your phones True. everybody spends more time on their phones so now it is what i would say si sitting in front of somebody i'm actually typing it out hmm. okay today i'm saying oh my god this woman is looking so bad tomorrow i'm like oh my god you look so beautiful Correct. people are actually typing that out now so all of that 
conversation is happening as a comment and at the same time you also like you know when with your own friends there was one occasion where you would like you know go every day or you know chill and all but now it's just like you know message and you have this party message group basically there are whatsapp groups there on, yeah. and now there i think clubhouse and all like yeah just, all like, of that is there that, yeah. so basically now this entire comment and the trolling that happens on social media i feel is a lot because now physical conversations have reduced hmm. and there nobody is holding you accountable yeah today no one's going to come scream in the middle of the road and say something bad but as a person sitting in some corner of the world you type anything nobody is going to come after you like that so they take the liberty ki kuch bhi bol sakte hain and that's what happens you're also working in a marathi film it's your first debut in the regional cinema yes. how excited are you for this one very in fact uh, we have prep work going on right now and there's a lot to do because it's an entirely new setup for me but um, it's a beautiful setup that's there that's one of the reasons why i said yes to this film mm-hmm. i feel it's one of the feel good films it's a genre that i personally like watching like if given a choice and you give me a list of films and all this is the kind of film i would like to watch and be in a happy space mm-hmm. so that's the reason why i said yes to this uh, the set of people are also completely new there are some very very experienced marathi actors that we have on board and as i said i love learning from my co-actors so this is something i'm really looking forward to i'm going to be spending my christmas my new years my entire december month with all of these people so yeah very very looking forward and before i let you go what are your upcoming projects you're working on so we just spoke about the marathi film i have another film which i uh, resume i already shot a schedule of that i resume that right after i wrap this up mm-hmm. so i think closer to whenever these are coming we'll be sitting and, and talking and you have been quite inspired by your fitness yes you have and you've been I'm personally messaging, messaging me messaging <laughs> you about it so literally i really want some few tips which you can give to me and to your fans out there okay so i'm going to give tips to whatever you have asked me related to that i'll tell you one is uh, you told me you've been walking a lot yeah but you haven't been able to do able to lose especially you're seeing belly fat yeah. my suggestion to that would be start a basic workout because a lot of times people think walking is the best way everything will get covered it is great walking is great for you i'm not saying please stop walking i walk a lot but at the same time you need to do other things to make sure that your body is fit because what happens is when you're walking you're stressing a lot on your legs yeah with age with as time goes by and also the kind of foods that we eat the life that we live our muscles are weak we need to strengthen them and that only happens when you do a little exercise yoga is very important i told you you said you've been doing yoga i said please do it every day yeah. yoga is something you can do every day you don't have to do extensive breathing is very important uh we've all done our breathings when we when covid was on because we thought that's yeah. the only way to survive and everybody has forgotten it conveniently uh that's a lifetime thing do not like just take out those 15 minutes during the day make sure you do your breathing and when it comes to food I know you said you can't stop eating. Yeah. There is no harm in eating a lot. There is no, I eat a lot. People get surprised when they see my diet. There is this myth that goes around my co-actors have made fun of me on camera that I measure my food which is true. Mm-hmm. Uh they've made fun of me that I eat on time and all. That's also true. But at the end of the day if you see the amount of food that I end up eating it's a lot. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing wrong in eating a lot. We are yeah. young people, we can burn it off. We need it and true. women especially need a little extra fat. they need extra food we True. we need all our organs working fine so please eat but there are few things you should just be careful about one is i always say do not eat anything out of a packet i remember you used to be sitting in the office and eating those chocolates and used to be eating those biscuits yeah. that is something you need to stop um i think the alter while i wait for the cookie right now i mean the brownie no right that now. that's homemade so okay. that's what i was coming to yeah. so if you really feel like eating things like that make sure it's freshly made instead of going for something that's preserved and packeted because there are a lot of things that go in the preservative mm. that's what actually harms you mm. uh, in fact uh, a lot of these uh, nutritionists if you hear them say the actual ones the legit ones no none of them will actually advise you to go reach out for one of those healthy baked snacks that you get in the market true you know your jawar puffs and quinoa puffs and kale chips nobody will recommend that they'll actually say once a week go have a freshly made samosa hmm. because it's freshly made it's right in front of you like a freshly made like probably make it at home or something have something fried but the moment you're eating something in a packet you have extra level of sodium and trans fat and all that going in so that is a rule that you need to follow do not eat anything out of a packet 
and try and eat everything local and seasonal hmm. so if you're going to sit in bombay and eat a shimla apple sorry but it's not going to do you any good you can eat your washington apple it'll look very pretty but it's not going to do any good please have your local peros in season right now i've been eating a pero every day in the morning in sometimes strawberries are going to come in i think in they a month come. and a half they have come they're too early yeah. generally jan is when they jan, come in yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah summer time every day i eat a big giant mango i don't shy away from mango if there are people who'll come and say so much sugar and all no so eat local eat seasonal and you'll never feel like oh it's affecting you and all you'll enjoy your food no oh, that's that's a lot and that's a lot of tips you know i'm just going to save that clip <laughs> for me that capsule is for me no she's going to start messaging yeah. me now but please message me every day this is something i love talking about like this is yeah. muft ka gyan i can give it all day long and before before i let you go you know makeup tips yeah. because you know i also prefer simple makeup you know yet you know looking elegant and i i look at your makeup and you it's just you have a very good. nice skin thank you thank you dear yeah. also very thank glowy you. but for others for others also yeah. you know, for your fans out there you know some simple tips because you know it's winter time yeah. right now and people need not do you know too much of you know makeup maybe I, gothic look of course you know during the no, that's christmas like when you're going on. for a party yeah, or something exactly. but regularly i'm not a makeup fan either like i hate putting makeup if i am not shooting you will never see me with makeup uh so the, there are few things very simple so things so makeup tips and fashion tips from you uh fashion tips i'm not the best person my fashion mantra is always comfort comfort yeah. first yeah. what is in trend what is not in trend i don't bother matter. for yeah. me it's comfort and if given a choice you will see me wearing my running shorts everywhere wow. i wish i could make that a dress code mm. for like every little function place and my sneakers mm. but yeah uh, talking about makeup i would say that um, make sure you get your makeup off do not ever sleep with makeup that's mm. number 1 uh second thing is make sure you drink a lot of water you don't realize but uh, it shows on your face drinking a lot of water uh make sure you cut down on refined uh food that's your flour and sugar because your skin sagging comes from there uh and uh, in terms of application moisturizing is very important wash your face twice a day first thing in the morning before you go to bed uh do apply sunscreen we don't realize the importance of sunscreen even if we are sitting sitting at home and not going out make sure you have like a good sunscreen on your face and apart from that the makeup products that you use be very careful about that wash your brushes frequently don't use expired products and uh, if at all you feel like putting makeup try and invest in good makeup products like that's something i would say do not compromise if you want a good skin well thank you thank you so much for your time and for such good tips it's a lot to follow and okay. before it's actually not yeah, i said such easy things yeah nobody has to buy nothing it's very easy whatever i said